Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your May 2018 reading. Uh, thank you for showing up. Thank you for listening to this, this video. I hope that you get something from it. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. So we'll get started and we'll start with the five card spread for love. The first card will be you, right where you are. The second card will be are you on your correct path? Third is the main obstacle. Fourth is what's helping you. And the fifth is the progress that can be made. All right. Thank you for the messages for Capricorn. True, accurate messages for Capricorn. Messages of love and light. Messages of guidance. Thank you for the messages for Capricorn. All right. First card. That's you as you are. Correct path. What's the main obstacle here? Um, what's helping you? How can progress be made? Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Virgo had the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Alright, High Priestess, it's right where you are. You're holding on to some things. You're keeping things close to your chest as a Capricorn would be doing got some secrets um, also listening to spirit listening to your intuition could be dealing with the Pisces are you on your correct path in love King of Pentacles you show up yay that's a good deal you're making solid grounded decisions decisions that are good for all involved um, they're systematic. It, it was methodical. You thought it out very well. So you are your correct path in love. What's your main obstacle here? The Knight of Cups. Um, the offer of love. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sometimes Aquarius. Um, this is your obstacle. Maybe accepting someone's offer of love you, it just can't happen for you right now um you aren't there what's helping you is six of cups maybe uh, it's children maybe you feel like you can't accept the the offers of love because of your children some of you feel like you can't get out in the dating pool because of children or children are affecting your dating and love life you can't you you're not ready to accept anyone's cup or of emotional investment because you're not sure what you're doing here. You also may be thinking about someone from the past. How can progress be made? The lovers, you have Gemini here. Um for some of you know that you guys were put together for a reason. Some of you got Gemini in your chart. Some of you need to be of one mind about something and not flip flop but that's typically not Capricorn but could be um, also maybe some of you need to make the decision a choice in love do you want to go all the way do you want to emotionally invest or emotionally invest and accept someone's cup or are you just the page now you just you know just having fun some of you definitely dealing with a Pisces some of you just having fun and you know you exchange messages of love but you haven't offered anyone a real cup of love a real a scepter it's just messages of um, wanting to emotionally invest but not actually doing the emotional investment um, okay so some of you gotta get serious about what you want if you want to go back to somebody or you feel like somebody's your soulmate. Someone is your soulmate. Someone is your, like your twin flame. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini. Uh, let's see what's going on in career and finance. Thank you for the career and finance messages for Capricorn. True, accurate messages for Capricorn and career and finance. Messages of clarity love and light thank you for the messages for capricorn thank you for the career finance messages for capricorn career and finance 
Let's go. Queen of Sword, Queen of Spade. That's you right where you are. You're cutting things out. No longer cut things out that no longer serve you. I'm hearing like cutting off subscriptions and just you aren't using cutting off things that uh, two of two of heart. Are you on your correct path? Yes, you are. Uh, what's your main obstacle? Maybe another Capricorn Virgo towards something, or it's you. You getting in your own way in career and finance. Or you, you need to get more stable. And it looks like you are. You're trying to cut some things out. Um, have success. A successful relationship with money. And your and your finances. Your career. And make solid and sound decisions around money and your career. Uh, what is helping you? What's helping you? Seven of Club. This talks about standing firm where you are. Because your psychic abilities are heightened toward maybe the opposite sex. There's prosperity and success here. With the Seven of Club also. Maybe due to the fact that your intuition is heightened with the High Priestess. How can progress be made? We have Five of Hearts. You're hesitating before making decisions. There's a choice card here. Progress can be made by making a decision. This is hesitation. You need to go ahead and grieve the process. Cut something out. Once again, everybody's getting fives. This is a fifth month of the year. Fives are about change. Moving forward. Enacting the change. Accepting the change. Dealing with the change. This also talks about grief. Grieve a loss. Yeah, the loss of friendship. The loss of um, burdens. Grieve the loss. This wasn't a good person anyway. Seven of spades. Maybe a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, maybe they had some tricks and plans up their sleeve. Grieve the loss of. Alright. Okay. Let's get some additional messages for Capricorn. All the way over here. Okay. Volunteer. You're stronger than you know. Nice. Volunteer. Or put your place. Put yourself in a place where you can gain knowledge of. Because, of course, it feels good to volunteer. Don't get me wrong. Um, but you also can meet people who can help you on your journey, help you on your path to wherever you're trying to get to. Uh, you could also, I've heard people meet love partners, life partners, volunteering, and just putting themselves out there in different aspects outside of going to a bar, going to a club or a lounge, uh, do something different, and you'll get something different. Hmm, let me take my own advice. End of an era. Something's ending, yeah. Uh, something has ended. Something is ending. You're stronger than you know. You feel like someone or something is is meant to be their soulmate. But at the same time, you're cutting something out. Something has ended with the five of hearts. Grieve the loss of. Go ahead and go through the grief, grieving process. And keep the faith. Know that things will turn out in your favor. Um, welcome the new is, is behind that. There is new here. End of an era. Welcome the new. Keep the faith. Something's turning for you. But you have to allow it to shift and turn. I don't see the death card here. But something is um, moving for you. Alright, so Capricorn, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thank you to those who already do so. Check out my new website. Subscribe to monthly services where you can receive um, monthly readings. Uh, take a look at that. Um, Monetarily, they range from 10 to 15 to 20 dollars a month, depending on the type of reading you would like for yourself every every month. Um, I think it's good for those who say that putting out a certain amount of money at one time for a reading is a bit much for them. Now you have something where you could do it incrementally and receive something every month about uh, just about you personally for you. Okay. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Instago. Ask me a question there. If you have an iOS 
system. Um, choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. All monies go back into the channel. Um, what else is there? What else is there? I think that's pretty much it. You know, Capricorn, it was pretty short and sweet. It looks like you guys are just enacting a change, going with the flow, um, grieving the loss of, you know, something had to end or did end. Uh, stay in prayer. Keep the faith. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well, Capricorn. I will see you in your mid-monthlies. Take care, guys.